So just crisscross applesauce. Make sure that both sits bones are evenly distributed on your mat. Can everyone hear me okay? Cool. Okay, good. All righty. Um, so sit nice and easily on your mat. And then just place your hands on your knees to start. Take a big deep inhale, draw your shoulders up to your ears and exhale them down your back. And start to gently move a little bit. So move from side to side, let your eyes fall closed. Take another big breath in, sweep your shoulders up and exhale them down. And start to roll your neck to one side. And then the other, just gently moving around, starting to settle into our bodies. From here, deep inhale, sweep your arms up and over. Take a big stretch, interlace your hands and just gently rock from side to side. On your exhale, bring one hand to your heart, five fingertips of the other hand to your mat, Bhumi Sparsha Mudra. And let your eyes close. Feel your heartbeat here. And then place your hand, your other hand that's on your mat, place it on your low belly. And as you breathe, start, in, start to cultivate your ujjayi breath in through your nose. Puff up your belly first, then up into your chest. As you exhale, exhale your chest and then your belly, kind of like a wave. And keep trying to fill up your bottom hand with your belly here, like a balloon. Just really let it go. Breathing like a baby here. And as you start to get into this rhythm where you feel this wave coming from your belly to your chest and your chest into your belly, See if your mind is telling you something. Is there some anxiety holding on someplace that's not serving you right now? Maybe fear. And as you breathe here, Inhale, fear is, exhale, a lie. Fear is a lie. Breathe it in and out. Take a deep breath in, reach your hands up and over. Exhale your hands to heart center. Sit up even taller, lift the crown of your head skyward. Draw your shoulders down away from your ears and feel really powerful just in this stance. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Interlace your hands at the top, exhale, side bend over to the right. Try to keep your left sit bone, your left sit bone or right sit bone on your mat. So as you're reaching away, you're, you keep drawing it down. So you're opening your side body a bit more. <clears throat> Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, other side. Lift up and over and keep sending your right sit bone down. Left sit bone. <laughs> Draw your top shoulder open. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, hands come to your knees. Draw your chest through. Deep inhale, open your chest. Lift your gaze. Seated cat cows. So really find a sway through your spine. On your exhale, round your back. Your spine reaches to the back of the room. Tuck your chin, tuck your tail. And keep going. Just waking up your spine. 
A lot of balance challenges today in the class. But no, I'll give you modifications throughout. If there's anything that's not working in your body, you're always welcome to find child's pose or down dog or shavasana. Deep inhale, reach your hands over. Exhale, fold forward over your legs. Hip opener here. So gently start to walk your hands forward. Feel the opening through your hips and breathe. Inhale, gently walk your hands back. Reach your hands up. Exhale to heart center. Switch out your legs. So place your other leg in front <clears throat> so that we get an even stretch through our hips. Deep inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist over to the right. Grab your opposite knee. Inhale to lengthen your spine up. Exhale, twist. Look to the back of the room. Keep breathing. Every inhale, you lengthen up through your spine. Every exhale twists a bit deeper. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, twist other side. Grab your opposite knee. Inhale, lengthen skyward. Exhale, twist. Find that breath. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Walk your hands down. And find that hip opener in the other side here. Inhale, gently roll up and come to your downward facing dog. Take your time. S send your hips up to the sky and just gently walk your dog here. Bend into one knee. Find your back of your leg, your calf especially. Open up here with every straight leg. And then inhale your right leg high, three-legged dog. Take a few hip rolls here. Massage into your hips. And then open up your hips, stack your hips, kick your bums, your bent, your top knee bends. Look under your right armpit. Inhale to three-legged dog, reach it long, exhale it down, downward facing dog. Inhale your left leg up, roll it around, give it some love bit of a massage. And then exhale, stack your hips, bend your knee, kick your bum, look under your left armpit, send your right heel down to your mat, open up your calf even more. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, ragdoll, walk your feet to the top of your mat, feet are hip distance, grab for opposite elbows, and just gently sway from side to side. Shake off anything that doesn't serve you here. Let the tension go in your shoulders and your neck. Just let it fall down into your mat. Release your hands to your mat. Toe heel your feet to touch. Let your head hang like a coconut for a moment. See if you can rock into the balls of your feet in this forward fold, Uttanasana. Find a scoop in your belly and inhale gently, roll up. Chittadasana. Reach your hands up and over. And then press the four corners down into your mat, four corners of your feet down. Draw your navel in and up. Fire up your belly, soften shoulders. Exhale, samastitihi. Close your eyes here. Keep that strong body that you set up in your Tadasana. And set your intention for your class here. So find whatever is not serving you, let it go, leave it on your mat. And 
there's something that you are wanting to attain or manifest or achieve, think of it here. Repeating that mantra we said at the beginning, fear is a lie. Take a deep inhale. Open mouth, exhale. One more big deep inhale, draw in your intention. Exhale it out, release fear. Inhale, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Find a steeple grip in your hands. So interlace your hands, find, release your index fingers. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Lift up and over, reach ball on your right side. Press your left hip to the other side of the room. Draw your top shoulder open. Spiral your heart up. Breathe into your side body. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, other side. Lift up and over. Press your right hip to the opposite side of the room. Breathe and spiral your heart up. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, forward fold. Gentle bend in your knees as you float to your toes. Drop your head like a coconut one more time. Let it hang. Let the, the tension ease out of your neck and shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Press your palms into your shins. You can keep a deep bend here so that you're protecting your low back, your belly. Draw some energy through the crown of your head. So look straight down at your mat and send your head to the front of the room. Tailbone reaches back. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot back, right leg is in front. So sink down here, really stack your, knee, your right knee right over your ankle. Open up your inner thighs, draw your heart through and broaden your collarbones. Inhale, easy twist, plant your left hand, reach your right arm up to the sky. So keep pressing into the big toe mound of your, right, your left, your right foot. Draw your right hip crease down and back and then reach for an apple above you. Nice. Exhale here. On your inhale, side plank. So send your right leg back. You can keep your right toes down so that you have a modification here. You could stack your feet, take a tree pose, tree legs if you want. Press down through your left palm, reach up for that apple. Lift your hips a little higher. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, plant your hand, lower down halfway. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, the down dog. Okay. Inhale, look forward to the top of your mat. Exhale, hop, step, or float to the top. Inhale, halfway lift, iron out. Find that tug of war from the crown of your head and your tailbone front and back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana, rise up, steeple grip. Exhale, side bend over to your right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, other side. Inhale, reach to center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Iron out your spine, scoop your belly. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot back this time. Left leg is forward. Sink your hips down, draw your heart through. Like you're taking off for a race. Inhale, easy twist, plant your right hand down. Reach your left arm high. Press out of your right shoulder. Press into the big toe mound of your left foot. Reach for an apple above you. Find some length through your hands. Take an exhale here. Inhale, side plank. Lift your left leg, you can stack it on top. Take tree legs or place your left toes on your mat for support and a modification. Keep pressing out of your bottom shoulder, press, press. Reach up, lift your hips. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, plant your hands. Low push up, inhale to up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, journey to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, Tadasana, rise up, steeple grip in your hands. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, side bend to the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, step your left foot back, right leg is forward. Inhale, easy twist, reach your right arm up. Exhale out your air. Inhale, side plank. Reach your right leg to your tree legs or your stacked for your modification. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Flow through your Chaturanga. And then down dog. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, journey to the top. Last one on this side. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana, rise up, steeple grip. Exhale, side bend over to the right. Inhale to center. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot back. Inhale, easy twist, reach your left hand. Exhale out, out all of your stale air. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, plant your hands, move through for a flow. Take a deep inhale in your down dog. Exhale it out of your mouth. <sighs> inhale, look forward. Exhale, make the journey to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Iron out. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sit back into a chair. And this time, take a steeple grip with your chair. So if you can't see my arms, interlace your hands, release your index fingers. Rock back into your heels. So more, more of the weight is in your heels. Light in your toes. Gently find a crunch in your low belly to take the sway out of your low back. Protect your low back. Squeeze your biceps by your ears. Of course, if this doesn't serve you, bring your hands to heart center. But I find the steeple grip helps you draw your biceps to your ears here. On your exhale, warrior three. Float your left leg back. Keep your biceps exactly where they are. Reach your, le your left leg back. Like you're an arrow shooting through space. If you have low back pain, keep a big toe down on your mat. But stay in that line with your steeple grip to your toes. Keep breathing. Find some length. Reach forward with your fingertips. Reach back with your toes. Inhale, warrior two. Bend into your right knee, plant your back foot. Find your warrior two pose. So your front heel is cutting your back arch in half. Reach your fingertips away, lift through the crown of your head. Take care of your front knee, press and spiral your thigh back towards the right side of the room. Breathe. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward, tick tock. Keep your belly fired up so we're not sinking and just kind of resting on this pose. Lift everything up, engage. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the deep bend in your front knee. Reach up and back, find that side bend. If you want, take a half bind with your back arm. You can reach around to your low back or your right hip crease. Reach a little further. Keep that line of energy going back towards the room. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Reach back, down and around. Pigeon toe your toes in. Drop your head like a coconut. Hi, guys. <laughs> From here, grab onto the outsides of your feet and pull yourself down. Splay your elbows out to the sides as you pull down. Breathe. All right, we're gonna be breaking this flow down and then taking something out. So on your inhale, halfway lift, press your hands into your mat so that you can flatten out your spine. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat. Bend into your left knee, send your left heel to your bum. Flex your front toes. And take a little minute here, you could find some balance if you want. 
bringing your hands to heart center, or you can reach forward and find an inner thigh stretch, hamstring stretch. Take a couple more breaths to open up. All right, on your inhale, easy twist. Crawl your hands back to the front of your mat, reach your right arm up to the sky. So we've done that easy twist in our sun A. Take that again here. So this is just to set up. We did our side plank. On your exhale, wild thing. Float your right leg to step behind your left, and then inhale, lift your heart, reach your hand towards the front of the room. So a deep heart opener here. Feels so good. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Plant your hands, flow through your flow. Scrape your side body as you come down to that low plank. And then down dog. All right, inhale, look forward. Exhale, journey to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit back. Find your steeple grip in your hands once again. Really strong lightning bolt pose. Breathe. Exhale, warrior three. Float your right leg back this time. Keep everything in line. Your index fingers stay in line with the crown of your head. Reach forward and back through your floating foot. Find some balance, fire up your belly. Exhale, warrior two. Plant your back foot. Reach your hands away from each other. Spiral your thigh back to the left side of the room. Lift through the crown. Nice. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach forward, tick tock. Everything's still on fire here. Reach. Never just letting anything go and resting. Everything lifted. Press your knee away. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep the deep bend in your front knee. Reach up and back. Keep that line of energy going. Reach to the back. Exhale, wide fold. Spin back, down and around. Pigeon toe your toes in. This time, grab your big toes with your peace fingers. And exhale, pull yourself down. Elbows splay out. Release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Press into your mat. Take a flat back in wide legs. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat. Bend into your right knee. Send your bum to your right heel. Again, you can find a balance or a hamstring inner thigh stretch. Just a couple breaths here to feel this pose and how it feels in your body. Coming back up, inhale, easy twist. Crawl your hands back to the front. Lift your left arm up. Twist towards the left side of the room. Exhale, wild thing. Float your left leg behind your right to find that kickstand. Inhale, lift your hips. Open your heart. Reach to the front of the room. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Plant your hands. Flow through to down dog. Up dog, down dog. You guys are awesome. Okay, let's flow. We're gonna take out the easy twist this time and just go straight into wild thing. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, journey to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair with a steeple grip. Exhale, warrior three, left leg floats back. Reach forward. Exhale, warrior two. Or inhale, warrior two. Plant your feet. Exhale, extended side angle. Reach and tick tock. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, wide fold. Keep that energy line going and just spin around. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat. Inhale, wild thing. Crawl your hands forward, reach your right arm up, float your right leg at the same time, lift your heart, open your heart, yes. I can't see everyone, but you guys are amazing. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low push up. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. 
Inhale, look forward. Exhale, hop, step, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose with a steeple grip. Exhale, warrior three, float your right leg back. Inhale, warrior two, plant your feet, reach forward and back. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward, tick tock. Inhale, reverse warrior, keep the bend, reach back, keep that line of energy going. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold, spin down and around. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat. Yes, inhale, wild thing, crawl forward, reach your left hand up, float your left leg behind. Inhale to open your heart. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. High to low push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. You guys are amazing. Let's take it one last time in this flow. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, journey to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair with a steeple grip. Exhale, warrior three, left leg floats back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat. Inhale, wild thing. Float your right hand up, right leg behind. Leave something here on your mat, this beautiful expansive pose. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. High to low. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Last side, inhale, look forward. Exhale, make the journey to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair with a steeple grip. Exhale, warrior three, right leg floats back. Inhale, warrior two, float down. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat. Inhale, wild thing, crawl forward. Float your left arm, left leg. Find that open expansiveness. Leave something here. Exhale, chaturanga dandasana. Flow your way to downward facing dog. Once you hit your down dog, take a deep inhale, let it out of your mouth. And then take a seat, find a glass of water if you need to take a sip. You guys are so amazing. We're gonna take a little bit of core, just a tiny bit, and then move on to our complex series. So when you're ready, we will meet in good old boat pose. Everyone doing okay? <laughs> Ollie, I saw your face. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Okay. <laughs> when you're ready, bring your heels to your mat. Reach forward. Lean back. Find a really strong belly here. So not a back bend, but a hollowing out. Reach forward, lean back. Feel your core catch. If you need more intensity, just float your, your back closer to your mat. Breathe. You can stick with ujjayi in and out through your nose or switch to an open mouth exhale. Lower down half an inch towards your mat. Hold here. Five, four, three, two, one. Come up and drape over your knees. and then lower all the way down. We're gonna just take a, a obliques each side and then move it along. So bring your feet to your mat, drop your knees over to the right. Fingertips under your head, inhale, lift off, exhale, crunch up higher. Inhale, lower, exhale, crunch. So keep going on your own, really target your left oblique. Little tip here, lift your chin and Send your elbows almost out of your peripheral vision. So you're lifting your head straight up. You're using your abdominals more than your 
kind of pulling on your neck. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Windshield wiper your knees back and forth. And then drop your knees over to the left. Fingertips under your head. Inhale, lift off. Exhale, crunch up higher. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. Keep going. Lift your chin. Elbows super wide. Lifting your face straight up. Really try to lift yourself with your abdominals. Five, four, three, two, and one. Let it go. Windshield wiper your feet back and or knees back and forth. Hug your knees into your chest and gently start to rock and roll the length of your spine the long way on your mat and make your way to downward facing dog. I'll face you this time. So down dog, bend into one knee, straighten the other, take your dog for a walk. Maybe wag your tail to the sky to get into your low back. And then inhale, look forward to the top of your mat. Exhale, Malasana squat. Hop, step, or float your feet. The width of your mat are a little wider. Start to bend gently in one knee and then the other, bringing your hips nice and low. You're welcome to keep moving in this pose. If for some reason this feels too intense, you can always rock onto one ball of your foot and just stay there and then the other one. But otherwise, sink your hips all the way down. Start to bring your hands into your heart center. So close your eyes. Again, if you, another thing, if you have a, a yoga block or if you have a stack of books or something and you need to support yourself, you can place it under your sacrum and just sit down on the blocks or books. Take a big deep inhale through your nose. Big exhale out of your mouth. Take the, the rounding out of your spine here. So draw your hands into your heart. Lift through the crown of your head. Send lightning out of the crown of your head. Reconnect with your intention you set at the beginning of class. Remember our mantra today, fear is a lie. Take a big deep inhale to draw in your intention, our mantra. Big exhale out. One more time, big inhale, let's let everything go on our mats. Gently start to rock from side to side. Rock onto the ball of one foot, onto the ball of the other. Just gently rocking from side to side. Nice. On your exhale, crow pose. Plant your hands. Send your knees up into your armpits, towards your armpits. Triceps squeeze, or elbows squeeze in towards one another. Gentle gaze forward. Rock weight into your hands. Float one toe. And then two. So take a little moment to try to find an arm balance. And if it's not coming to you today, that's okay. It's a yoga practice, not a yoga perfection. So plant your hands, squeeze in. If you see it from the side, you're creating that chaturanga shelf in your arms so that your knees can rest on your triceps. Really hug in through your belly. Squeeze everything. Start to press down through your palms as well. So you're getting light here rather than collapsing into your shoulders. Whew. Nice. Nice crows, guys. Nice side crow, Paula. Yes. Yeah, so keep playing for a little bit. Finding an arm balance. You can always keep one toe down and just float the other, or you can rock back and forth. When you're finished with your with your arm balance, just come into child's pose. Bring your knees the width of your mat. Reach forward, sink back. Close your eyes for a moment. Once you're in your child's pose, roll your wrists around to release the tension. A lot of weight goes into your hands and wrists when you're doing an arm balance. So just release some tension there. 
and start to reconnect with your breath. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Take a quick body scan here. How are you feeling? Take a mind scan. What thoughts are buzzing around and can you quiet them with every deep breath? On your next exhale, we're gonna find forward fold, but take your time and get there however you want to get there. So move with your breath and intention. Finding your way to the top of your mat in a forward fold. Once you're there, maybe bend into one knee, straighten the other, back and forth to release. And then let your head hang like a coconut. Rock into the balls of your feet. Inhale, standing splits. Float your left leg up to the sky. Keep dropping your head down. It's okay if your leg doesn't float very high. You can even keep yourself in, a, in an L shape with your hips squared if you would like. I like to open up my left hip because I like to get a little bit more openness through that side and a little more height through my leg. If you want, bring your fingertips wide off of your mat and start to leverage down so that you can draw your forehead closer to your shin. On your exhale, Shiva squat. Bend your left knee, tuck it behind your right. So you're just coming down into this little squat, almost like you're in a, in a crow pose. If you want to find another, a bit of a balance here, draw your hands to, to your forehead. Inhale, standing splits. Float your left leg back up, bringing your fingertips back to your mat. This time, keep your fingertips on your mat. Exhale, Shiva squat. Bend your left knee behind your right. Find that little crouch. And then grab oops, your, let's see, grab your left foot with your right hand. This is our balance challenge. Lots of balance challenges today. So your left foot is being grabbed by your right hand. Inhale, lift your left knee up towards your mat with your bind. If you only get about here, that's okay. See if you can try to get your knee to point up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Keep a hold of your foot. <laughs> Guys, don't be mad at me. Inhale, rise up. Bend into your right knee. Float up with your foot still in your right hand. If you fall out, just grab your left foot in your right hand again. And then switch your hands. So place your foot into your left hand. Your left hand comes to the inside of your left foot. Inhale to reach your right hand up. Exhale, dancer's pose. Hinge forward, kick into your hand. So you're kicking back, finding a wine glass shape in your body. Breathe. Oop, <laughs> trying to look at you guys at the same time as doing a balance. Breathe. On your exhale, bend into your right knee, warrior two. Float your foot down and plant your feet. Find some balance here. Steady yourself. Breathe. All right. Inhale, star pose. Reach up towards the sky. Keep a hold of your bottom abdominal, abdominal. So draw your, tuck your tail in. Lift through your chest. Exhale, goddess pose. Bend into your into one knee and then the other. Bring your hands to goal posts. Breathe, sinking your hips down, grounding down to the earth. Inhale, star pose. Open up. Exhale, warrior two back around to the front. We're coming back into that dancer's pose. So start to draw weight into your right leg. Float your back leg, grab the inside of your left foot. Inhale to reach up, find the wine glass shape. Yes. Deep exhale. 
Inhale, keep a hold of your left foot as you drop your knee. Switch hands. Left foot goes into your right hand once again. Inhale to reach your left hand up and lengthen. Exhale, float your way down to your toes, keeping the bind in your left foot. <laughs> nice job, guys. Try to lift your knee up towards the ceiling. Exhale, Shiva squat. Tuck your left knee behind your right. Release your fingertips to your mat or your hands to your forehead. From here, inhale, Anjay Nyasana lunge. Shoot your left knee back, release it down. Reach your hands up towards the sky. So you're in this beautiful low lunge. Sink forward into your right hip, into your right knee. Open your left hip flexor. Exhale, half split, straighten your front leg, fold over. Let go of that leg you were, you were balancing on now. So wag your tail from side to side. Draw your chest forward as you inhale. Exhale, sink down. You guys are awesome. Let your next exhale draw you into a forward fold at the top of your mat once again. Take the other side. All right, inhale, your right leg floats up, standing splits. So again, you can take the L shape or open up the hip. Fingertips can come wide to draw your shoulder or to draw your forehead closer to your shin. Leverage your fingertips down. Breathe. We're leaving stuff on our mat right now. Exhale, Shiva squat. Tuck your right knee behind your left, coming into this little squat. You could find an extra balance by bringing your hands to your forehead. Inhale, standing splits. Reach your right leg back up. Exhale, Shiva squat. Tuck your knee behind. This time, grab your right foot with your left hand. Inhale, keep the, your left foot or your right foot in your left hand. Inhale your right knee up. So you're in the spine, reaching your knee high. Keep a hold of your foot. See if you can float up to a standing position. Inhale. If you fall out, that's totally okay. Just meet us where we are. Switch your hands. Or switch your foot into your right hand. Grab the inside of your right foot. Inhale to lengthen your left hand high. Exhale, hinge forward, kick. Open up, find the wine glass shape in your dancer's pose. Breathe. It's okay if we're having issues with balance today. I'm having a lot. So just come back in wherever you fall out. Inhale, warrior two. Bend into your left knee, gently let go. See if you can land softly in warrior two pose. Nice. Inhale, star pose, rise up, reach high. Keep a hold of your lower abdominals. Once again, tuck your tail, lift through your chest. What was it? Okay. Exhale, goddess pose, bend into one knee and then the other. Goal post out your arms. To add on here, if you want, come onto your tippy toes and goddess, send your hips further down. Ooh, more bounce. Inhale, star pose. Exhale, warrior two, back around to the front. Inhale, start to hinge forward into your left knee. Exhale, dancer's pose. Grab the out, or inside of your right foot. Inhale to lift and kick back. Nice, inhale, rise up, keep a hold of your foot. Switch your foot into your left hand again. Inhale, reach up with your right hand. Exhale, float down to your mat, sending your right knee up towards the ceiling as much as you can. It doesn't have to go all the way up. Exhale, Shiva squat. Tuck your right knee behind. Hands come to your forehead or to your mat. Inhale, Anjanyasana lunge. Shoot your right leg back, right knee goes down. Inhale, reach up. Sink forward into your left knee. Exhale, half split, float over a straight leg. So straighten it out, move here. Moving into your calf, your hamstring, breathe. Inhale to lengthen your spine. Exhale, fold down. And on your next exhale, forward fold to the top of your mat. 
toe heel your feet hip distance or maybe even wider you can widen your stance if you want inhale your right hand high so your left hand is down on your mat or your shin reach your right hand up to the sky bend into your left knee straighten your right so it looks like this if I'm doing it from the back we're getting an IT stretch through the side of your right leg as well as a twist through your spine if you want to take a bind here place your hand on your low back or all the way around to find your left hip crease so that just kind of draws your right shoulder to stack on top of your left exhale forward fold inhale your left arm high bend into your right knee straighten your left leg press down into your mat or you can place your hand on your shin or your knee if you can't quite reach your mat if you took a half bind place your hand your left hand on your low back or around to your right hip crease and let that bind pull your shoulder to stack on top of your right shoulder breathe into the side of your left leg exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale lower all the way down onto your mat happy baby pose grab the insides of your feet and just gently rock from side to side just to release something here release your low back and to add on in happy baby I'll do it so you can see this way rock over onto your right side straighten your right leg out bend your left knee in so you're getting an opening in your right hamstring come back to center rock over to the left left leg lengthens right knee bends in and take that one more time each side over to the right straighten your right leg bend bend your left coming over to the left straighten your left leg bend your right knee and this time come back to center and straighten both legs as much as you can you don't have to have your legs fully straight just to get an opening through your inner thighs hug your knees into your chest and take a figure four so release your left foot down cross your right ankle over your left knee you can stay right like this and just press your your right knee out with your right hand or if you want to intensify hug your left thigh into your chest pulling your your, your legs into you bend into your right elbow and push your right knee away it's a lot of a lot of stuff going on <laughs> so you're pulling in and pushing out at the same time close your eyes and breathe inhale waterfall pose send both feet up to the sky stacking your ankles right over your hips pressing your sacrum down into your mat switch sides figure four right foot comes down left ankle over right knee either stay here and just press your knee open with your left hand or pull your right thigh into your chest as you press your left knee out with your elbow push pull Inhale to waterfall. Press your sacrum down, reach your feet up. Exhale, set up for bridge pose. Bring your feet down, feet are hip distance. Fingertips tickle your heels, so walk your heels back until you feel your fingertips. Inhale, lift your hips up, press down into your feet. If you have a bind here, scoot your shoulders under your back and press your triceps and pinky fingers down so that you feel your collarbones broaden. Keep your glutes active here. Fire them up. 
Breathe into your heart space. Exhale, Supta Baddha Konasana. Release your bind, lower down. Place the soles of your feet together, knees go wide. One hand on your heart, one on your low belly. And let your eyes fall closed. Place your hands on your knees. Close your knees like a book. Hug your right knee into your chest. Let your left leg go long. Like give it a good squeeze. Exhale, supine twist, guide your leg across. Stack your hips to right underneath each other. So scoot your bottom hip underneath and then look at your right hand. Close your eyes. Inhale your leg back to center, give it a squeeze and switch sides. Left leg comes in, give it a big hug towards your chest. Exhale, supine twist, guide your leg across. Shimmy your hips underneath to stack and look at your left fingertips. Inhale your leg back to center and then invite your other leg in. Let's take plow pose. So reach your feet up to waterfall. On your exhale, send your legs up and over. See if you can float your feet behind your head. Just a way to take a forward fold, a supine forward fold here. Let your, up, let your lower back open here. And then lower down nice and slowly. Grab the insides of your feet one more time. Just a gentle, happy baby to shake out. Inhale into supine ball. Draw your knees into your forehead and squeeze yourself really tight. Send yourself a loving comment, remembering that fear is a lie. Exhale, Shavasana. Let your limbs fall where they may. Close your eyes. And allow your body to restore. Allow your brow to soften. Unclench your jaw. Release your shoulders. Soften your belly. Unclench your hips. Soften into your thighs and calves. Release your fingertips and toes. Thank you. 
You're welcome to stay here for as long as you would like. You're welcome to mute me or just ignore everything I say. <laughs> if you're ready to move on, take a deep inhale through your nose. Deep exhale out of your mouth. Gently bring movement to your fingertips and toes. Rock your head from side to side. And inhale into an early morning stretch, reaching your feet forward, your hands back. Exhale over to your side into the fetal position. Gently find your way back to an easy seat. Sukhasana. Place one hand on your heart, one on your low belly. Come back into your breath, filling up your belly like a balloon. In those moments of fear or anxiety, bring it back to your belly breath. Remembering that fear is a lie. Take a deep inhale, reach your hands up and over. Exhale your thumbs to your forehead, your third eye, the seat of your intuition. Deep inhale. Exhale your hands to your heart center. Thank you for sharing your inspiring practices with me today. Please go in peace with joy in your heart.